and gentlemen, things are heating up on Twitter. I'm going insane. I this this just everything on Twitter. Buffalo Bills Twitter is blowing up and you're driving me crazy. I'm you're getting my hopes up about DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, D Hop. One of the league's top receivers still. One of the league's biggest names. Being linked to the Buffalo Bills. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's just think, just envision that for a second. DeAndre Hopkins in the Buffalo Bills, red, white, and blue. That'd be a sight to see. Lining DeAndre Hopkins up as the number two receiver across from Stephon Diggs. And then you have Gabriel Davis as the number three, not to mention Dawson Knox and the newly signed Damian Harris to go with James Cook, Josh Allen. That sounds like one heck of an offense. Can we make this happen, please? I would love to see this. DeAndre Hopkins to the Buffalo Bills would be something that I think everybody in Bills Mafia would like to see. I guess I can't speak for everyone, but I feel like it's appropriate to say that. DeAndre Hopkins is the man. He's a three-time All-Pro, four-time Pro Bowler. He has over 11,000 receiving yards in his career. He is a stud receiver, and putting him across from Stephon Diggs, you have two of the league's top five route runners, probably one and two in the NFL. That would be insane. DeAndre Hopkins' hands are out of this world. Like It's like he has glue on his hands, because the catches that he makes are insane. And yeah, not to mention the one, the one that stands out from the rest. It came against the Buffalo Bills. Yes, when I think of DeAndre Hopkins, I think of this play. He is white. Jordan Boyer came in late. He's got Micah Hyde on his back and catches it and possesses it. But if DeAndre Hopkins were to come to the Buffalo Bills, I wouldn't have to think about that play anymore. I'd be able to think of some more positive things that DeAndre Hopkins does in a red, white, and blue uniform. So can we make this happen, please? This is definitely a possibility. Things have been going crazy on Twitter. Let's address exactly what has been happening. DeAndre Hopkins today, he shared this on his Instagram story. Yes, those are the lyrics to Buffalo Soldier. Buffalo Soldier. Now, why would an NFL player share that on their story? Maybe, just maybe, the Buffalo Bills could be trading for him and he could become a Buffalo Soldier. That's potentially the case. Don't know what's going on in DeAndre Hopkins' mind. However, that's what everyone's kind of thinking. It's not just that, though. Josh Allen followed DeAndre Hopkins today. And DeAndre Hopkins also follows Josh Allen on Instagram. Now, these are some interesting things just starting to add up and pointing in the direction of DeAndre Hopkins putting on that helmet, dressing up in a Buffalo Bills uniform next season. That'd be a sight to see, I really. Another thing that really stood out about today is Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network on NFL.com. He had a post and it, it said that the Buffalo Bills would be the number one potential landing spot for DeAndre Hopkins. Now, these things are all adding up to really make Bills fans really optimistic and hopeful, getting their hopes up about DeAndre Hopkins coming to Buffalo. And just imagine having DeAndre Hopkins across from Stephon Diggs with Josh Allen throwing them the football. That offense would be unstoppable, for real. Find me, there is not a better wide receiver trio than the potential of having DeAndre Hopkins with Stephon Diggs and Gabriel Davis. Not in the entire league. There's some good trios out there, but that would far and away be number one in the NFL. Find me a team that has a defense to slow that down. I'll wait because there's some good defenses out there, but DeAndre Hopkins and Stephon Diggs together, that'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you, that would be unstoppable. Now some things 
definitely need to happen in order for this to come to fruition, for anything to transpire between DeAndre Hopkins and the Buffalo Bills. Some cap space needs to be cleared, or DeAndre Hopkins needs to rework his contract. He has two years left on his contract with the Cardinals, and as of right now, his base salary for next season is over $19 million. The Buffalo Bills cannot afford to bring that in unless they offload someone, someone like Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver is someone that's been talked about a lot, being potentially shipped off to free up some space and bring in another offensive weapon. And he also, he's also someone who had some crypt, cryptic stuff on his Instagram story today. So, I mean, forget about Stefan Diggs' cryptic tweets. It's now Ed Oliver, the guy who has cryptic Instagram stories. All these NFL players are driving us crazy, by the way. Cryptic tweets, cryptic Instagram stories, hinting at things that n n never even happen. But they know how to get to us. And that's exactly what's happened with this DeAndre Hopkins thing. I'm just still thinking about what it would look like. D-Hop in that red, white, and blue uniform on this Bills offense. I think it would, it would be outstanding. But I want to know what you think about DeAndre Hopkins to the Buffalo Bills. A, do you think that it's going to happen? Do you think it's realistic? Because I think there's definitely the possibility for it to happen. And Brandon Bean, swing for the fences and bring this in. Make this happen. That's the way I'm looking at it. B, the other question I have to ask is, like, what would you be willing to give up for DeAndre Hopkins? And honestly, like, Would you want to see it? That's the big thing. Do you want to see DeAndre Hopkins in a Bills uniform? And what are you willing to give up for him? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I'm Jake Varco. Stay tuned for stuff coming up here on the Bills Bunker. I mean, there might be might be some moves coming. Maybe. Potentially, hopefully. Maybe we see DeAndre Hopkins... With the Buffalo Bills. There's potential. It's there. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Bills Bunker. Check out other stuff on the channel. And until next time, I'm Jake Varco.